so next is uh, we are going to start with the uh, jasmine test framework to test react application so we have uh, multiple alternate uh, libraries to write the test cases for uh, a react application so we are going to use with the jasmine it's a library where we can write the test cases for all the react components so first of all we need to download the jasmine releases like this is the uh, url where you can find uh, jasmine downloads so i'll be sharing you the link so you just go to this url and download your jasmine standalone zip file once this is downloaded so here this is the file you will be getting extract that you will be getting this folder where you have a file called specrunner.html and in this html just in a browser in an empty path in an empty uh, browser link you just drag that specrunner file so whenever you drag it like it is going to open your jasmine console in the browser if at all if you wanted to uh, see the test cases results right you can do in this fashion that is specrunner.html is one of a html which is going to show your okay test cases results if in case the same application if you wanted to run at the console there is a different process to run the test cases so test cases is nothing but whenever you create a component you will be writing it sir uh, whether the functionality of that particular component is uh, behaving in an expected manner or not so for example in this particular sample code okay if we can look into specrunner html file so you can observe what is the file we are writing the uh, testing here so here if you can see there are two script locations are provided okay react.js testing app one src hello world.js there is one uh, component called hello world.js for which we are writing a test case called hello world spec.js file so we need to specify the source component to be tested and also we need to specify the test case both the locations into your spec runner.html file so that you can observe here the test case written again is your hello world class and the result of your test case whether it is passed or failed zero failures one spec randomized with the uh, see like uh, the code is given for every okay uh, test case document so what is this hello world uh, dot h uh, js file and hello world spec dot js file i will be showing you now so here is a sample code where just we are writing a test case so there is one uh, js file here you can observe it's a simple okay function a react component function which is just returning hello world okay your this component is supposed to display with the hello world now this is a component i wanted to test with my test case hello world spec.js file so here i will write a test case okay in this fashion while we are writing the test cases using jasmine okay just we will have a syntaxes here called as a describe function what is describe we will be discussing in our document okay so here we have the blocks called as spec functions every spec function start with a describe function describe defines the test case is going to be tested so that is what is our describe function describe give a name it's a simple description for your test case and then you write an arrow function from here to here it is the function you are going to test it and it is each test case let's say uh, in j unit we write a test multiple test case methods right so describe is on the whole for your uh, complete hello world.js file how many number of test cases you wanted to write you need to write that many it blocks it is a block for each test case you can have multiple it blocks within a describe block the first test case what you are going to write is returns hello world is your test case name and again here is a function 
again this is going to be a, an arrow function in which the actual uh, function you are going to call is hello world function of your hello world.js whenever you call that function it has to return some value that is stored in your actual variable and now when we are going to perform with the okay test case by using with expect block expect is like asserts okay assert method how do we write similar to that expect actual to be here we have some functions to be null to be doc to be uh, like a display likewise we have some functions here so actual to be hello world so when both are matching the actual for component is also returning hello world ex with exclamatory symbol and you are also testing with the same when both are matching if you go here you can observe so it is returns hello world so your test case is passed let's say in my class now just i wanted to change my expected string i am expecting hello world welcome to jasmine tutorial just i wanted to test with this string i am expecting okay this is the string has to be written i just save it same this is the same file location we are uh, testing with our uh, spec runner so now let me reload so as we have changed it right so now this is the outcome of your uh, jasmine test case runner which is going to run your hello world it block that has to return okay hello world means your it block is defined okay returns hello world this is what is displayed here and then the expected word expected word is okay hello world welcome to jasmine tutorial but the actual thing is hello world so that is the reason that is the test case is failed. once again i'll go here and just to change it right i just save it and then i refresh here see here the test case is passed right this is how you can uh, write your test cases using jasmine so you just need to download your library that is jasmine library go here inside you will have a spec runner drag that into your browser window so that it will be showing you a default test case to be executed now how do we write more number of test cases for our application and how do we test it so let's open the same application in our IDE so I'm going here just I'm opening the same application what we are testing in the browser okay testing app this is application just I'm opening here so where we just have okay hello world.js file and we have hello world.spec file now this is a thing I would like to test at a command line so how do I test it simply npm test npm test is a command where you write okay you're just going to run your test runner jasmine test runner to run your test cases present in your application so in this particular application when you are going to run it the naming conventions you need to observe here called file name conventions it is explained here okay file name conventions always your library testing library looks for your test cases under the folder called underscore test underscore folder so by default when you create an application cre using create react app tool you will get a folder called underscore test underscore so it will be expecting the test cases to be written in that folder if not okay you can write your test case by using dot test dot js as a suffix this is also fine or dot spec dot js 
any of these two extensions you need to give so i have my app by default i will get app.test.js or it could be app.spec.js right when i create an application it's a simple application where i wanted to uh, write a test case for this so i can create by default i get this app.test.js but if at all if you write any other component for which if you want to write a test case you need to write with your component name dot spec dot js or component name dot test dot js within which you need to write a describe block first of all then it blocks so similar to it blocks you also have called test function both are same so test you write a description for your test case write a function where you are expecting that you need to create an app component for this application if it is created okay you just wanted to test it whether the app component is created as part of your document or not by using expect expect tree dot to json if it is converted to json you need to match with your snapshot means whenever you run your application your uh, test runner will take a snapshot for your application you will be testing with the previous snapshot whether it is matching with the same or not if it is somewhat different you did some changes with any of the component here then the, the test case get failed this is one way of writing a test case and similar to that okay we can write as many uh, it blocks and describe blocks for your uh, application you can write for example we have a hello world.js and hello world spec.js dot spec.js or you can maintain like a uh, like a spec.js as starting with a capital letter that is also fine so here is uh, like you are going to test with the one it block where actual thing is hello world you are expected to be hello world now when you test it here when you press enter it is once again writing the test cases okay it will be checking with one test case is passed so here is the test cases it is going to test with app.test.js now in the app.test.js let's say i would like to uncomment the other things we let us write a multiple test cases here another function simple describe block i am writing simply i am saying that simple sample it block in which i just say that expect true to be true means nothing but like asserts assert uh, equals of true comma true like that it is i am testing one more function let's say i have another function where i wanted to create a variable and okay i wanted to make that uh, a value as a true and again i wanted to test it okay suppose i have a function okay true is truthy just you wanted to make it true let's say false false to be false within one describe block i can write multiple test cases right suppose i wanted to test a function what i have written the function could be in the same class or it could be in another component as well if it is a component you need to export that and you need to import here then is you have written a function which returns sum of two numbers now you are writing a describe block where you are expecting okay the actual value by calling the function 2 comma 4 it has to return 6 now i wanted to test with it to be 6 if it is 6 your test case is passed let's say i am calling the same function with the actual value but i am testing with it to be 8 when it is matched then it is going to be passed let's say i'll give some different value this is how you can write as many test cases as you want let us say just you wanted to check with some value with of any jasmine that any means the a value of type any object it could be number it could be boolean it could be string anything okay let's say i am writing another expect a function a is a character but i am testing with a number type any of number means you are testing with a number data type if it is a number it will say true otherwise test case is fail likewise you can make use of all these functions create a spy means you are just creating an object this is like a mockito object okay you're just creating one spy object of four 
okay that is the four function uh, you are passing with the 12 and it will return true now you are testing that four function okay it it should have been called with any number okay when i am calling with a number okay it should return with a function just mean of any of function if that is a function then if it is containing a function means if the test case is passed otherwise failed similarly we have lots many other functionality testing by using with your it blocks whatever type of logic you wanted to test you can write the logic as part of your it blocks right i just uncommented so we have now multiple test cases we will be getting the test report okay we will be getting the test case okay the reports individually for each and every test case once again you press enter here simply it is it will look into all the test cases now one by one it is going to check see out of nine total test cases it took time to test 4.76 seconds and okay in the test suit there are one test case is failed okay and then means within your test.js setup test.js one test case is failed and out of your test cases there are two test cases are failed why because a to be equal to any number we are saying it's not right so that will be failed what is the other test case failed two comma six to be ten that is also failed right let's make them also as true i'll make it eight now and here instead of passing a number uh, character we'll just pass a number just you save it and come here you just press enter here once again it will run <coughs> so here we can say watch and then press enter once again it will run the test cases all the test cases are passed here it will show you the test cases like each and every test case uh, describe block we write an it string right that string is this so it will show you the string which is provided in your it block and also it will give you the test case results so the command to run the test cases is let's say i just terminate this npm test okay whenever you say npm test it is going to run your all test cases with the name spec.js or test.js it's a convention is better always you put all your test cases as part of your uh, underscore test underscore folder and here whenever you wanted to repeat the test cases here is the watcher is available for your jasmine when you press okay w right it will be watching your test cases and then press enter okay so whenever you press enter it will keep on running the test cases again and if you wanted to watch your test cases you just press w w means you will have the different modes for running your test cases to run only the failed test cases to enter into the watch mode to run only the changed files not the suppose in your project you have n number of components and n number of test cases right do you want to run all at a time again repeatedly or just you wanted to change uh, run only the changed files okay all these options are possible 